Greetings. Hello, Mark. How are you? Hello, Tikur. Uh, we're recording this for posting on YouTube today. Oh. I uh, wanted to have a follow-up with our conversation about uh, people requesting scans without needing to go through Jim. Ah, yes. Uh, for those out there who need scans or need medical attention, you can ask for a scan online. What is the area that they go to? Um, well, I'm just looking at that right now. Um, on the Hukula website, there's an email address, uh, sign up to go. And it's under the visit the stars link at hukulo.org. And so you can just leave a message there that if you want to scan or have a medical problem, and we'll do it at nighttime when you're asleep. We have to do it when you're inactive so that we can get a proper scan. And then if you need an infusion, we will give you one at that time. Now, it will usually happen the night that you put the message in. So be aware that night that you will get your scan and your infusion if necessary. If you need more attention, <clears throat> Write us again, and we will continue to help you until it works. Lovely. And then um, I don't know, last time we spoke, I, w I was suggesting that we make a list of, I, I assume for some conditions, it, it requires a dialogue uh, to discuss um, details about the health conditions and get some advice for them. And other conditions, uh, like I've recently discovered with arthritis, um, that can be cleared up without too much interaction. It's, yes, but remember, if there is calcium deposits, that takes a lot of time to take care of. But if, if it's just the pain you're worried about, we can handle that. Now, there are headaches, backaches, knees, pain, all kinds of things that we can handle uh, right away when you write us. Now, if it's something like bone problems or uh, it has something to do with uh, you need an operation, we may have to, uh, to let you know that it is not possible for that to happen right away. Only send us information online about things you believe that can be done with an infusion pain, or perhaps some uh, flu symptoms, or whatever, th simple things like that. But if it's something like uh, ruptured discs, bone-on-bone uh, -bone problems, things of this nature, we cannot do that uh, because we'd have to bring you to the ship to do that. But uh, there are some things we can take care of without bringing you to the ship. We're, you know we're not permitted to do that at this time because of the governments and because of the galactic governments as well. All right. Um, at some point, I was thinking it might be worth bringing in Tepe to go into a little more detail on the conditions that can be handled uh, remotely. Um, okay. I can bring Tepe in, but it would just be the – it would be a similar list because um, – it would be only the things that can be helped with medication, pretty much, or with energy or vitamins. If it's something that requires an operation on your end, it would probably require the same on this end, to some extent. So that makes it fairly logical. Yes, well, after having had amazing results when I was diagnosed with arthritis, I really wanted to let people know that there were some things that did not require an operation that were not really addressable by human technology. Um, yes. One question that I think you might answer, though, is how many people can you actually help? Help? How can we help them? How many people? Yes. If, if, so if you got... take them one at a time, usually there are not more than four or five requests a night. Uh, with the human colony people, we've had no more than that. So we could help them all in one evening. Now, if there's 
50 or 60, that would be a little bit of an overload. We would have to get back to somebody and let Jim know to let them know that they did not get any uh, infusion that night. But at this point, we're only dealing with four or five or six a night at the most, and sometimes none. I see. So at the current load, it, the, the capacity is not an issue. No, at this point, no. I do not think they are aware that we can do this while they are sleeping. But we have let some people know that. But I think that this is a good idea to let them know. Perhaps we'll have a higher amount of people that have get infusions or get uh, some work done. We are very good at helping with headaches, back aches, leg aches, feet, neuropathy, um, different kinds of pains in the body, and flu symptoms, things of this nature. And if something is, is beyond the, your capabilities, are, are you um, bringing in others like the El-Yaha to assist, or would that require a personal can do that, yes. Okay, so that that's um, good to know as well. All right, then I think the um, the, the the main um, rest of this recording should be uh, the public part should be about uh, the conditions. If Tepec could go into some detail on what conditions they can help that our human doctors aren't as effective with. All right, I will bring him. One moment, please. Thank you so much, Dicker. Much love to you. Much love. Greetings. This is Tepe. Hello, Tepe. First of all, I want to thank you for the infusions you've been sending me for my arthritis. Uh, oh, you are welcome. Less than a month after diagnosis, I'm feeling much better. Excellent. Um, in fact, one of the questions I had, I'm going to ask while I think about it, um, for something that's a chronic condition that may require uh, monitoring and follow-up, Yes. If we were to request uh, that uh, that a, a scan and treatment in an email, do we would we have to also explicitly request the follow up, or does that kind of go without saying? Well, it depends on what it is. If it is um, something with the prostate or something with uh, thyroid. Yes, we would do. We would uh, automatically schedule follow-ups. But if it's something like uh, migraine headaches or something of that nature, then we would assume that that would be taken care of immediately. But we can do follow-ups. We do have a very busy schedule, as you realize. But we do are able uh, to do follow-ups. I would prefer that they request it. If, if they really want one, if they uh, believe that it's necessary. Because there are some kinds of aches and pains, such as backache um, and uh, that kind of thing, that, or just a regular headache or flu symptoms, that one shot would do it. And they wouldn't really need to be followed up on unless it was most severe. But we would request that they would request it if they wanted it. So, uh, but we can work on the prostate, thyroid, uh, some chemical imbalances, female hormones, male hormones as well in some respects, and uh, uh, all kinds of pains. We cannot do any bone work uh, from this distance. We cannot do any operations from this distance. But there are different uh, things that just require chemical uh, chemicals that will he heal the situation, or sometimes it's uh, just vitamins and minerals and uh, positive energy. Insomnia we can help with, things of this nature. But um, 
Operations, no. When you um, said that you can't help with bones, uh, you have helped me with a joint problem, which is... Oh, yes, but it's only with the pain. We have not removed any calcium or anything of that nature. But you were very early on. You, you have an early symptom, so we just removed the pain and also stopped the progress of the arthritis. That we can do at an early stage. If we do not catch it in an early stage and there is calcium buildup or whatever, we cannot remove that quickly. That is something that we cannot do. We can, uh, uh, since you, we caught yours at an early age or an early time, we were able to nip it in the butt. Lucky me. Also, we can help with stomach and intestinal problems. Uh, but once again, no operations. Can you adjust the microbiome for things that might cause things like irritable bowel symptom or uh, irritable, irritable bowel syndrome or Crohn's disease? We can do a scan of the body. Every body is different and has a different chemical makeup to some extent and different enzyme uh, quotients. So we would check to see what their makeup is and if we are uh, sure of how to help take care of it permanently, of course we would do that. Lovely. Um, Any other conditions? Um, how about eye problems? Have we talked about those? Eye problems are a little different. Usually, um, there are a couple different eye problems that can be helped with um, chemicals and, and with energy and from our area, but uh, eye operations are sometimes ne a necessity for some. We cannot do those. But if it's glaucoma or something of that nature, uh, we might be able to uh, put a chemical in that would help it for a greater period of time. But uh, if someone has cataracts, for example, they'd be better they off. They be removed. No, we cannot remove them. That would be. There is a way to dissolve them in the alien processes, but we have not found a way to do that for humans yet but they can be dissolved with chemicals in uh, some species. But your, uh, your makeup, it would be very painful. It would be a burning sensation, and we do not want to do that. I see. Um, is there anything else you'd want people to know who are emailing you for scans and treatments? Um, just to, uh, if they do not find immediate results the next day or within two days, to reconsult us. Usually our medications and our, uh, the way we work things is a time release process. And so it takes about 48 hours for all the energy, vitamins, minerals, or if we ask to use a chemical uh, for all these things to be released properly. So give it 48 hours. Lovely. And then <clears throat> for those who want to give you feedback on how the uh, infusions are working, they can send you that information by email as well without having to uh, Absolutely. wait for an opening in gym schedule to do a private session. Correct. Or uh, they can send a message on his email or Skype or wherever if they want him to know directly. Um, he will be able to see those. So, and his assistant will help him with the visual portion. Lovely. Um, I think that uh, concludes the public portion of this session. I would like to ask you a few personal questions, if that's all right. Excellent.